you have to be very careful with some of the things that come out of your mouth. You have to be very careful with the things that you say. I was thinking to myself today and I thought to myself, there's so many people that are in the grave, so many people that are dead now, underground, non-existing because of something that came out of their mouth. I could only imagine how many people are not with us today because of something that they uttered at one time that started, that was the beginning of something, some type of controversy, altercation, something that led to something that led to something that led to something. But how many people today are in the grave because of something they said, something that came out their mouth? There's people in the grave right now that would probably come back. And if they came back, would rather go through life without a tongue than to have gone through life with a tongue and said the things that they said. The Bible talks about the tongue. It talks about your tongue being like a bow, a bow and arrow. Like once you pull that bow back, that, that word that, that's about to come out, those words that you're about to say, when you pull that arrow back, once you let that bow go, that arrow is not coming back. And that's the same thing with your words. There's certain things that you say, once they come out, there's no taking them back. Once you release that bow, that arrow is gonna go and it's gonna go and it's gonna have an effect. It's gonna hit something, it has to hit something. It's inevitable. Um, so we have to be careful with the things that we say out of our mouths, think before we speak. Um, I wrote in one of my books that we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. We have two ears for one mouth for a reason. That means that we should listen more, talk less. We shouldn't talk as much, and the things that we have to say, we have to also ask ourselves before we utter words, what type of effect these words will have on someone. Is it going to fix something? Is it gonna make something worse? Can it fix something? Is it beneficial to be said? What's the purpose of saying it? Is it going to result in a positive outcome? Is it going to provide an answer? Whatever comes out of our mouth, we have to ask ourselves, what is the purpose of saying it? Is it to encourage? Is it to build up? Is it to break down? What is it that, um, what is it that, what type of effect will our words have? So saying that, you know, just be careful, think before we speak. We should always think before we speak. We've all, built, we, we've all been responsible for saying some careless things, let careless words come out of our mouths and we wish that we were able to bring them back. How many of us are guilty of that? So peace. Catch up with you guys on the next video. I love to keep inspiring you guys. I share this video with somebody because I believe that um, it takes sometimes all it takes is knowledge, knowledge, knowing. You know that's that's a diff difference between being ignorant and not ignorant. Knowing, if you are ignorant to something, is because you don't know it. Once you learned it or know it, you are no longer ignorant about it, right? So there are people out there that are ignorant about those things and speak recklessly. They don't think too much before they speak. So hit the share button. Let's put this message out there. Hopefully somebody can hear this, apply it, and have their life spared. Peace.